Milk. Crate. Marauder. Pat, come on in. He's wound up out there. There, I understand he's uh, upset. Who told you that? He's wound. He's wound. He's hyper. In the dark. Hey, I heard about your pants. What in the oh. world? Like Sweatpants. Look at him, man. I'm those a man, my buddy, my pal. Pants. Pat, on? Pat's on kind of a career roll. I see him on all those uh, commercials for the breadcrumbs. Yeah, the breadcrumbs and the David Letterman. Hey, they found me in a restaurant. You believe this? Thing? What do you mean? I was at a restaurant. Yeah. And Bob Morton and uh, the crew were hunting me down for four hours, and they found me in a restaurant to do the show Thursday, which I thought, which I was very, very proud that they were, you know, they were there yeah. enough of me. Right. And they put me on first. Are you upset? Why would I be upset? Oh, so I'm like a big fan of yours. Let me tell you something. First. You want to go on first. When go I on. found you, Get you came on. Let me tell you something, Pat. Uh, I'm I a... love you. It's because of you. And I know I it is. That. I know it is. But calm down. You can't go on first all the time. So I always go on somebody first. gets there before you, what are you going to do, get crazy? I don't go on unless I go on first. Well, that's the, I love to go on last. Yeah, listen, you have a different attitude towards your You're career right. than I Absolutely. do. Absolutely. There's no career. There. There's no career here no more. It's work. It's a job. Right. It's getting up in the morning trying to hope the check clears. Uh, Pat Cooper, uh, the only man to be banned by NEWAM, the no, radio station. W N E W. right. That's N-E-W. Right. That's right. They banned me. Because they're stupid. Uh, because they're stupid and they'll die stupid. Because they are liars. They don't like to be told the truth. And they use me 50 times. They use me. Right. They call me in Utah. They found me when they needed someone to build up their show. Yeah. And all I did was turn around and mock some on. Ask me a question. What did I think about the gays not being allowed to march in the St. Patty's Day Parade? Right. My answer was, I think there's still gays in there. And maybe a couple of priests are gay. And then they come out of the closet. And who gives a damn who's marching and who's not marching? Right. All of a sudden, somebody must. Of course, says he's banned. He mentioned about gays, priests being gay. That's normal. That happens every day. Then you got a bishop who's turning around. He's got a son, seventeen years old. Right. Oh, that's all right. right. That they reported. Right. Pat Cooper turns around and makes a little humor. They all get crazy because the gays beat them. You know why the gays were outside? Don't go. First of all, that that station, all the years you were on, it never did any good for you. It ain't they the idea. Any good. They all the of a sudden got a set of balls. They're asking you questions. You don't you ban me. You just tell go. me I don't want you on there. You ban like I'm banned from uh, you from don't, God. You're not going to call you again. That's a low place. Somebody's going to ask you your, uh, yeah, ban you. Yeah, they're going <laughs> to ban you. Ban, you know, yeah, but, but Mark Simone, who's a friend of mine, you think any one of them turn around well, and say, why do you wait choose, a minute. Why do you choose losers as friends? All right, listen to me. Listen that to guy's me. a loser. Look. Loser, winner, that's not You want to hang point. with losers or you want to hang with winners? I don't winners? hang with nobody. Choose your friends properly. Hey, I, I don't hang out with nobody. Oh, yeah. You know that. You're my friend. I never took a vantage coming here without you. Because I'm a winner. Oh, but I don't, I don't suck around. Well. All right, I'm well, your buddy. I'm your so, pal. So what are you sticking around with that guy for? That guy's right, a dope. I don't hang around with that guy. Did you see? There's a flaw in his nature. I only. Now you're I, banned. I, you I see? Now, you're, now the guy banned. He put you in a position right. to be banned. You I allowed yourself to be used. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would never ban you. I don't ban anybody. Yeah, because you're too smart to ban. You're damn right. You don't want to. If I don't call you. Then you're banned. Yeah, I don't right, announce that you're banned. Well, boy. we have banned people. You have banned But people. I haven't banned you. No, why, why would you ban me? I'm a pussycat for crying out loud. Of course not. I don't bother you. I'm a gentleman. I love I've always you. been a supporter you. of yours. I told you that. Well, because you got style. You're damn right. There you go. Where were we? All right, let's do a little news, then we'll interview Pat. Then we'll have an interview. By the way, Pat's going to be at the... Uh, you got to go see this guy. That sounds like fun. He's like shot out of a cannon when he gets around all those Jews. <laughs> On July 23rd, he'll be at college. It's great, which is the always college funny. concert. See yeah. now you're making the college circuit because you're getting exposed to a youth market. I agree with you. I'm not. I'm not angry at that. Well, that I was always to... my dream for you. I always thought you were a great talk show guest, and I couldn't figure out why I didn't see this guy on talk on shows. On some other show, yes. So I had him on, and I had him on for years, and we got to going, and then all of a sudden, uh, every talk now Letterman discovered him as, as yeah. he discovered Richard Simmons, right. and uh, he discovered all these guys. Couldn't figure out what to do with them. Brenner, he's discovered a lot of people from this. There's show. nothing to figure out how to discover these guys. These guys are like war horses. They go. On and they perform. These right? so are professionals. He's like a stalker. monkey. You, you give him a couple of bucks and, you, and he goes stalker, on and he performs. Yes. He's a stalker. Stalker, that's what I am. Yeah. A skivoza. I always thought you were a stalker skivoza. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say it till I die. All right, go ahead, Robin. Uh, Pat likes to comment. Well, you remember Crazy Eddie, the guy who owned all the appliance stores around <laughs> yeah. town? They found him. You know, he escaped our clutches a couple of years ago when the uh, government wanted to charge him with fraud. And uh, it turned out he was in Israel all this time, living under the name David Cohen. David Cohen? Very quietly in a luxury condo. Mm. you got to ask yourself a question about a guy like this. Here's a guy, Crazy Eddie. By the way, first of all, let me tell people. He must really be crazy. Yeah, he is. He's insane. <laughs> crazy Eddie 
is not the guy you see on the commercial. That's no, Jerry that's Carroll. Right. A lot of people think that's crazy. Eddie. I know. I did for many years. I know. I had a, a spank robin for that. <laughs> but uh, let me tell you something. Here's a guy, Crazy Eddie. Now, you know how many people are in this appliance and a stereo and all this this kind of business. And it's, a, it's a horrible business because you, it really is Competition difficult. Competition severe. Very, because there's a million guys. you got a lot of Arabs and stuff in this now. you go, well, you, you got Koreans. you got everybody yeah. in this. Selling equipment. Audio equipment. This guy was onto a great thing. All he had to do was behave himself. This is what they give you a hey, nutty person. It's called greed. In. It's called greed, Howard. Ah. Greed. Ah, now you greed. Said, yeah, greed. They become vacuum cleaners. I'm going to suck up everything, the right. dust, everything. Right. While you're standing, they suck you into. Now he was in this video. He gets caught. He had a better shot staying in the Lancy Street. Nobody gets fired. You can't find nobody in the Lancy Street. No, let me, go, let, let, me, let me be serious. Here is a guy. Here is a guy. All he had to do was behave himself. Mm, he was making money. He had the premier chain. He had forty some odd stores. Yeah. Crazy Eddie store. He was doing business like nobody else, and people loved the image of Crazy Eddie, Crazy Eddie. So they love the commercial. The store started to go downhill a little bit. In, in other words, the competition got more fierce. They and weren't the, the only one. And the growth was a little too fast. Yeah, and so the guy starts in. He's going to have stock and raise more money and funds, and then he gets into shenanigans because he wants more and more and more and more. You know what? When things started to die down, so you close a few stores. And, and you stay there. And you stay there. And or you know get what? Up. Or get, get out. Or get out with your right. money. That's, That's right. All. Same with Mike Tyson, right? Can mind his business, keep quiet. Right. Can get any broad he wants in the world. Any broad he wants. No, now he turns out, I was watching this thing last night. He right. I mean, what this guy gave up is unbelievable. Right. Him, it's, 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 it's sickening. It's sickening. And yes, people, people want. Greed. They deserve it. That's no right. mercy thing. There you go. No mercy. You, you know what it is? You got intelligence. I hope so. You certainly do. No, I'm in show business, not in show off. There's a difference. Uh huh. There's ah. a difference. Ah, now you said There's something. A well, Crazy Eddie will be arraigned in court today <laughs> in Israel on charges of using a false identity. Oh, good on you. And then procedures will be launched to bring him back to the United States to stay on charges. They think he ran off with about $60 million. They're all running off. Milik is running off. Everybody runs off with the money. Borsky comes out. He's walking in the park now. He's happy. He grows a beard. Everybody goes, Borsky. Oh, guy. What's Borsky. his name? Borsky. 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 What's his name? Who cares? He wants to know his name. He's not a guy. He killed all innocent people. Poor people are suffering. Then they wonder why people are shooting each other in the street. It's because of people like this. You but if you did it to their children, right. let me tell you. See how I punish them? I hurt their children. Right. Hurt them. Yes. I don't hurt Borsky. I get his child. Right. And I put his child up against an Iraq. And he'll go, what are you doing to my child? Do what you did other people's children, you petuza face. You there want to you quiet go. him down? <laughs> John Gotti has been <laughs> he needs a bachelor taken party. off <laughs> yeah. to a federal prison, the most security conscious, the toughest yeah, Marion, federal prison. Well, Marion, uh, they're all over there. Yeah, a lot of yeah. grunting and groaning. A lot of grunting and groaning. <laughs> now, Gotti, watch Pat switch gears and make no sense. Watch this. No, 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 I'm not, so I'm far, not. he's doing good. Watch, watch. No, I got, well, I just read the paper that he's going to get a high school education in that prison. I well, they're going to make him go to school. That's true. I don't understand it. Why does he need high school education? He found a way to make money years, all these years. <laughs> he's got to go to school now to become a dummy? I never heard of such a thing. Now, who do you think he is? Who? Do you think he's John the godfather? Gotti. Oh, you think he's the Godfather? Everybody in, 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 in every Italian that I know is the Godfather. All right, there we go. Now he makes no sense. Every Italian that I know thinks he's the Godfather. I'm going to tell you something. Everybody where I grew up in a neighborhood in Brooklyn was under a lamppost pumping their legs. Is We're John Gotti? Is John Gotti? Is he in organized crime? Is he in organized crime? There's no such thing as organized. Disorganized now. Is he? In, is he in disorganized crime? Yes. This he, is oh, he a criminal? you're willing to no. say that. He's, he's not, not a, a criminal. criminal. I'll tell you why he's not a criminal. Let me <laughs> say something. He's Very committing sad. crimes, but no, he's not a criminal. You, wait a minute. Hold it. Did you see him? <laughs> Robin? Did oh, I see him? Did you see him kill somebody? Did I see him do somebody? what? What, do you know these guys? No, no. no, no Are you afraid of no. these guys? He had a trial. Why should I be afraid of them? Don't hate. I admit I'm afraid of these guys. Why are you afraid of them? Well, I don't want to get hurt. Nobody's going to hurt you. No one's going to hurt me? They're not a threat to them. They I like see. guys like you. They like me. I'm a wise guy. You know why? Guy. Because, no, you keep their name up in the front. You keep talking about them. You keep and why are you, say, the... why are you now because coming out Because I'm a little bit annoyed. I'm a little bit annoyed because the proper way of the procedure was not given to this man. That's all I'm worried about. Uh, the proper way of procedure? Not always. The guy should turn around and should have got bail. He should have got bail. Why? Because he's a human being like everybody well, else. Well, wait a he minute. He has a right to get bail. Let and, me ask you a question. Uh, ask me two questions. All right. Uh, every time he did get out on bail, yeah. uh, they they caught him trying to intimidate the jury. Where? Continuing to run his illegal affairs. Where? Where? Here. Where? Let me this ask you a question. If that, trial. Were true, if that were true, this guy's got some.
some of the greatest lawyers in the world. Okay? Two is one area where Pat gets a little, a little wacky. <laughs> I'm not wacky. I just feel bad. Look, the guy's going to go away for All right, let's, life get, yeah, let's, let's, let's get, get off this one. Uh, you know what it is? Uh, he's going to go to Freddy, prison. Freddie, how are you? He's going he's to gonna... get a 90 days of worth of education. That's all, right. all they can make him do. Now, let me ask you something. If he graduates high school, does he get to go to a prom? Yes. <laughs> he does. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Why don't, why don't we take a break? We'll be back with Pat Cooper. who will be in solitary confinement. And we'll do more news for you, and then we'll interview Pat and find out uh, why he's so angry. <laughs> I'm not angry. Uh, we're on the air here. Stop with the foul language. All right, here we are now. Are we on the air? This is so great. Uh, this is, uh, you, you do any home labeling? You use labels in your I house. I use everything. I anything, it's, listen to me, anything that's modern I use, but I have, you know. What do you do at home? Do you, do you actually, like, have a desk where you write some of your jobs? I have a, I have an office in Vegas for 21 years. I've only been in six times. What do you mean an office? In your house? I have an office. I fall in everything where I do my business. In your house? Yeah, no, no, and in a garage. Of no, I mean, you don't, go to yeah. a, you don't go to a place of business. You, you don't go to have I an office in a building. I am my business. And what's in your office? You have a desk? I got phones, I got the pictures and everything, and I got my business, I got my uh, my uh, the stickers that you're talking about. When you write a joke or something, where do you do that? I don't write a joke. I never wrote a joke in my life. I don't write no material down. What I do is sometimes I'll tape a couple of shows that I'm doing and then right. I'll analyze it, and maybe I'll grab something. I'll say, gee, this is funny. I'll, I'll embellish on that. I see. All right, Isn't but this thing you got is great. This thing you got is great. What is this? Will thing? you ever use a? a I use anything you tell me to use because I know you wouldn't hurt me. No, no, be serious. I'm know, serious. I want to know about your life. I, you go home and yeah. what do you do? You, do you have a? Uh, do you have a workbench? No, yeah, I have no workbench. Just, uh, you, 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 Are you like a real show business character? No, I mean, I'm in the kitchen. I'm making red snapper. But you don't spend a lot of time worrying about about things, do you? I can't because I'm 63. I want to start worrying for all my nuts. So what do you, you have your rack? You go do that. And I go. You... They call me as a pie. You want to do a commercial? I thank them. I do a commercial. If Letterman calls me, I do Letterman. You call me, I do you. No. I'm happy. I don't sit and put my whole life about. I don't care about my family. I'm, I gotta be a star. Who cares? All right. So what? Uh, life you... goes on. Do you ever put labels on things? You I ever put like labels label? on my body. I put do you have audio cassettes? Do you enjoy I got all. I got every. I got every mechanical cassettes? thing that's supposed that was invented, but I can't use half of them. You have a computer. Yeah, I got a computer. You do? Yeah. You use a computer. And no, what do you I do don't with use it? I got it. So no, what do you do with it, though? Nothing. No, come on, be honest. I swear to you, I don't, do, I don't know how to use Why it. Why do you have a computer? Because somebody gave it. I mean, I put it up, and I got, it, I got a and lot of stuff. And what's in the computer? What kind of program? It's not, I don't know. I never put the slides in. No, you don't know what? You don't. I know. have no idea. I took it out of the box. I connected it on the desk, and it lays there. All right. The Once in a while, a light goes on. It's so great. I don't believe him, by the way. I don't either. Right. right there, I think he's being a character. I think he uses it. Right, we got to follow him around with a video camera. Yeah, I'd like to see his house. What's going on? Oh, it's on Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. You can't get. Were you? That. Yes, I was. And I they, never saw that episode. Well, that's a great episode. And they went around your house. They went around my house seven hours. We got him. We, we fed him and we got him drunk, and they were the happiest horses in the race. <laughs> what do you have? Some kind of spread out there in Vegas? I mean, a big uh, I got, place. Like, sure, I got an acre of land. I got fifteen rooms. I got a room. My, my wife's got a room. Fifteen rooms. You never invited us. Well, you're never here. We always go to Philadelphia screaming at that other guy. What about the... Uh... Come over to... Why don't you come to Vegas and scream at me? Why don't you come outside my house and call me every name in the book? So you have one car. acre. Like, you have, can you see your neighbors? Yeah, I got neighbors. We have birds. We have horses. We have everything in there. We have, have mountains. And what do you have? You have a, How many square feet is your house? What's that? I don't know. I don't measure. I'm no ruler. We just bought the house. We've lived there. There's a bedroom. There's is, a it, is it a mansion? It's a, it's, it's, it's a semi-mansion. Really? It's a semi-mansion. bedrooms? I got uh, four bedrooms. I have a pool, I got birds, I got trees, and I don't bother. I go there, I wave. And I what do you have? You have a gym in your house? No gym. No, no. We, we don't exercise. We just look at each other, eat macaroni, and pass gas. <laughs> That's all we do. All right. Listen, uh, we're here with Pat Cooper. He's always fun to have on. You know that. Right. Everybody loves Pat. Thank you. He's everybody's angry dad. That's all right. You know I got news here. That's, that, that, that seems to be the You truth. know what? And when uh, Judd Hirsch is ready to leave conversations with my father, I propose you take over that role. No, I don't like to do that. <laughs> I don't like to do Broadway. I'm not. I don't like to get on a stage and for, for, for two hours. Well, were you supposed things. to be in that Freddie Roman? Uh... No, no, no. I, they invited me. I, it was very nice. They invited me. I turned it down, and I'm going out my own life. And you turned that down because they claim that they turned you well, down. No, no, no. Freddie Roman cannot lie. He's he knows he can't lie. They invited me. He offered me fifteen thousand dollars a week to be in that. To be on it. I thanked them. I said it's a very nice compliment. It's not for me. I'm not comfortable there. And that ended it. So it's a reason, lot of money to turn down. Why because, would you? Why are you not comfortable? Money's not my god. I want to be happy. I want to be comfortable. I'd rather make half the money or a third of the money but and why die. wouldn't you want to be a, you do that? Why because you, it's not for me I'm not comfortable doing that you're not comfortable performing I don't that? belong you, they, in no oops, you always tell me you don't care what kind no, of no, stage no 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 I don't belong in that particular show why? that's Catskills why tell me because why because it's not me because I'm I'm more Italian than I am Catskills but Catskills has Italian performers we're not saying they don't I'm not happy in that show it's not my persona this doesn't sound like you did something more to this story no, because no, you no, always no. said hey give me give me my paycheck and I'll show up I'll perform in your living room I may say that to a point Right. But I'm not a fool. 
I'm in show business, not show show off. Is I this an anti-Semitic statement? No, God forbid. Don't even say that. How really? are you going to get me crazy? i got to give back my yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just kind of odd that Pat's this guy who says, you know what? I don't have to see a room. These guys, they take pictures right. of Right, yeah. He doesn't want to know anything. Just guy, show him where the stage is. guy you. offers me some money. I'll go perform. No, no, no. Something no, I am not. No, 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 no. Freddie Roman claims that Pat was thrown out of that, and Pat no, says no, no, no way. Freddie Roman did not say I was thrown out of that. That's wrong. I'm not gonna, right, I okay. don't want to put words in this man's mouth. What's right is right. The man offered me. I went down. I did one show for them. Even before. I did that one show. I said, look, Freddie, I love you, my friend. It's not for me. And that was the end of it. Now, the anger came out after I come on your show, and he turned around and said that I, uh, you know, he screamed and yelled that the, the producer said I, uh, they didn't want me. Right. So he had to say that. What was he going to say? Right. What was he going to say? What the producer maybe didn't know that Freddie Roman offered me $15,000 a week and said to me, Pat, we'd like to have a show. And I said, well, thank you, Freddie. It's not for me. I was offered another Broadway thing. I turned it down. What did you turn down? I turned down as a thing that called me for three boys from Street Brooklyn. Street car name No, no, no. Oh. I did that. The, uh, three boys from Brooklyn. <laughs> three boys <laughs> Yeah, I turned that down. Why would you turn that down? I don't want to do it. Why? I want to be free and do whatever I want to do. I don't want to do eight shows a week in Broadway. Right. I want to go, if I want to go to Pines on Thursday, I go to Pines. I want to die on Tuesday, I die. I want to clean fish on a Wednesday. I want my freedom. I'm 63 years old. I want to do what I want to do. I'm tired of doing what people think I should do. I'm happy. You know what burns people's ass? I'm happy. Right. And they're mad because I'm happy. You sound happy. You sound like a happy guy. You're damn right I'm happy. <laughs> happy. You're happy with your life. I'm happy with my life. You go, why did you take that show? 15000 I did. 15000 dollars is wonderful money. I'm not against that. Yes, this is when you turn that down. I don't want to do it. I am not. I was never. Can you make more money uh, than that? No, it wasn't money. No. Hey, you go fifteen grand. You're on. You're on Broadway for a year. You're talking big, heavy stuff. That's right. I don't count that. I want to count if I'm breathing, if I'm happy, if I'm content, it burns everybody's but ass. It, but doesn't it doesn't it upset you that uh, Freddie no. is getting all this attention Can now as a Broadway something? star? Wouldn't you like something. to be perceived as a no, Broadway no, no, star? No, 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 you don't care. I was on Broadway before Jackie Mason. Right. I worked the Palace Theater. Right. So what are you telling me? But you know what I mean. No, I don't you know You see all what those TV mean. commercials oh. for them and they're no, bigger no, stars no, now. No, listen, jealousy is not in my persona. Really? I don't envy. I admire. And I learn from people. I got nothing against those four guys with four people who were in that show. Right. God bless them. Okay. That's not... Listen to me. Listen to me. But you, you were upset listen, with that show. I was upset why? You know why I was why upset. Why were you upset? Because they did not invite me opening night and I thought I, I, I deserved that respect. But you see, when four blind guys uh, with, with, with Broadway don't remember their friends, I lose my respect for them. So you and don't the consider foreign... Freddie Roman a friend anymore? No, no, he's he's, he's now acquaintance, or oh, the four of them are acquaintance. Right, they're acquaintance. They used to be they friends. Used they to be used friends. to be friends. They showed yeah. their true colors. No, I now won't. They... But you know why? Because right. whenever there was a fight. Any one of these four guys would call Pat Cooper, I'd stand behind him. Right. And when it came time for them to be a man... How would you stick up for them? Seriously, I'm curious. Give if if someone right. said to me, you're not a Freddie Roman, he said this, I said, come here over here. You don't say that about Freddie. You got something to say about Freddie Roman, tell it to his face. Right. Don't tell me, because I'm not fighting Freddie Roman's battles. But they don't do that. Right. See, now they're on Broadway, they're walking, hey, Freddie Roman tried to get a Tony. All right, well, let me ask you. Wait, wait, did he try ahead. to get a Tony? Oh, yes. Did he put his two cents into something that he didn't belong? Why get a Tony if you got a faucet? Why not get a Tony when you deserve it? Right. Or when someone says Freddie Roman? How did he try to get a, a Tony. I understand he went to the committee and he asked him for a Tony. That's what I understand. Really? Yeah. And he asked for a Tony. That's what was in the paper. And you think that that's wrong? Because... I think I think it's kissing ass, and I right. think that he's so insecure that he'll do anything to become a star. And let me tell you something. I said it once. I say it again. I'll draw him in his house. Uh, what did you say? I'll draw him in his house. I'll draw him. I don't care no, if he's on I'll, every night. I'll, I'll, I'll draw him in his house. Him. I'll draw him in his house. I'll draw Any him. Any one of the four. Yeah. You mean draw him? They're on Broadway. No, for not draw him. I'll, I'll draw him. Get your audience. You'll out draw Freddie Roman. But you know what it means? Because right. when, when they're on Broadway, it doesn't mean that you are Jesus anymore. Right. You're still a human being. Right. Carry a bit. No, they walk around like they. Oh, You're saying they're they're not if not you go out, if you go out and let's say some club, and Freddie Roman is playing in a club, even with his Broadway and everything else. You're playing in a club. Yeah. He's playing. You will out. You will outpack. Yeah, it. You will pack that club. Yeah, and, and, and let me tell you, he knows it. He knows it. Anyone, Malcy, no, Lawrence, Dick Capri, and Marilyn Michaels. You are a bigger star. Four of them. You're yeah. a bigger star than all of them. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 you are saying you're a bigger star. Wait a minute. I didn't say that. You're saying I'm a. I'm a name performer. You are a star. I am a no, no. no, no. I'm a name. Fred, Fred no, Astaire say is you're a star. star. Bob Hope is a star. You're a star. No, no. People know you. I am a name. There's a difference. You see, when you go on Broadway, and you say I'm a star. Right. I'm a star. So you think those guys now think they're stars? Oh, absolutely. And they, they walk around. Tony's. Oh, they walk around like peacocks, the star of Broadway. There's no star of Broadway. You got a job. Mind your business. Take the money and keep your mouth shut for a couple of years. Excuse me. I'm still back at the bet. Mm. Yeah. Is he going to outdraw all four of them performing yes. in that yeah. other club? Yes. Yeah. Yes. At the same time. Right. Wow. Yeah. He does better impressions than Marilyn Michaels. <laughs> oh, jeez. But uh, let me tell you something. I think uh, she's out of the show. I think she's leaving next Is she week. really? That's what I heard. Is that right? Why is she is leaving? Is she going to be no, I don't maybe she, don't, maybe she don't want to work there
wasn't some. It wasn't a pay fire. I when you run thing. into Freddie Roman now at the Friars Club or other places, Freddie how White House everybody has your family, and that's the end of it. And, and how's before, it, Tony? And how did it used to be before? Because his career means more than anybody's life or anybody's persona. He don't give a damn. Freddie Roman's for Freddie Roman. He'll always be for Freddie Roman. He'll die to be for Freddie Roman. He and when did this become apparent to you? Oh, uh, what, what, very simple. Just just look at the guy. About the opening night. Just look at the opening night and just look the way he conducts himself. He's all over the place. Hey, I want people to invite me. I don't want to shove myself into your face, into the Tony's people's face, into Broadway's face. I want people on my merit. I want to be bought on my merit. There's no merit over here. They so climb on walls. They don't give a damn. They bite that. I go down. Piranha. Eat so a, eat me, take, me, take me back to the Friars Club for I'll a second. I'll take it back okay. a lot of places. So you run into Freddie. You used to have lunch with this man. You used to no, sit no, and no, break bread. No, 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 no. I say Freddie Hawaii. I said, How did but, it used to be bef between you guys? No, you know what? A little more friendly? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What do you mean? You discuss some I don't things? trust. I don't trust the four of them. Really? I don't want them in my life. Mousy Lawrence. I don't give a damn what they think, what they say. These people here grew up in my business the same time I did. I, I've done more than the four of them put together, and I never came on strong. They walk down the street like they're a bunch of peacocks. And let me tell you something. When Broadway is over, they're going to go back to work in the mountains. They're going to go to the woods. Right. That's it. That's now, it. if they get a series, which I hope they all get a series, they go to California and go on for nine years. They're not happy with what they're doing. They're not happy with their success. All they do is turn around and I, and I got no here. They are the shot. They're guaranteed. Right. Freddie thinks it's his show. Right. He he's thinks the he's the headliner. He's yeah. the headliner. That, that's fine. Right. Uh, that's fine. I was. Who do you think is the headliner? Mousy Lawrence? No. Who is who is the funniest one? I in that think show? The, the the combination is fine. Right. The four. Right. Separately, either one's no not good. a big draw. No, right. no. Neither one's a big draw. They've been around a hundred years. I mean, I've been around a long time. Neither one has been a big draw that they can headline. Uh, 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 Freddie Roman can't headline Atlantic City. Dick Capri can't. Marilyn Michaels can't. And no, neither can Miles Lawrence. Right. I've been headlining that time for ten, twelve. I don't come on. Right. I don't come on. Look at the star I am. Everybody back off. I'm the big name. I never come on. All I do is thank God. So the that reason, I'm the real reason you didn't want to be on that Broadway show is because you knew. On the inside, what, behind the scenes, yeah. what really was going on was was that Freddie thought he was the big star. You were going to put up no, for no, that no, no, you. no, 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 that no. He was going to start no, in with you. No, 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 no. Because they you can outdraw them. They often look. I got to be fair. All right. They offered me the job. Is it not uncomfortable? Could, is it uncomfortable not. when you go to the Friars you Club? Didn't want, no. Were you no. closing the is show? Is it uncomfortable? Yes. No. Uh, is it well, uncomfortable when you go to the Friars Club? Yes, I go. I go. Sure. Is it uncomfortable now? I'll give you one better. You want to hear the? You want to hear the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. People at the Friars look at me and say, Pat, you're absolutely right. You know what your problem is, Pat? You're right, and they don't want to know that you're right because you call. Who says that to you? Name who says it. Who says that to you? All the fries. You who says Joey Adams says that to you? Did well, Jackie no, no, no. say it? Joey too? Adams is very quiet. He eats his yogurt and he waves. Who that else says nice that to you? Does, does uh, uh, Howard Cosell say that to you? No, no. Howard Cosell is not involved in my business. Who are the types of guys? All the guys. You know, the agents and the managers. Right. And the, you know, but you know, but here's, here's my argument. Frank the Maitre Day says that. Okay. Here's my argument. Yeah, go ahead. My argument is they don't say it to these people. Right. They try to say it through me. I become the fighter for them and i'm through doing it now i fight my own if i got any battles to fight i fight my own battle. but when you see uh dick capri yeah. or i haven't seen dick capri i haven't seen mal z i haven't seen freddie and i haven't seen marilyn uh maybe once since they're on broadway i i, I see him and if you say way. hi and they I say wave, hi I how are you how's your family everything i go by and out the door and it used and to be hold you on sit down at the table let then. me tell you something yes they better thank god that i'm not in a raft with them alone right because I would lambast them because they have no style, no class. They don't know what it is to be, to be thoughtful of somebody else, yet they want me to be thoughtful of them. That's my argument. <laughs> you got to be thoughtful of me if you want me to be thoughtful of you. And I'm sick Now, is tired. it possible that there was an oversight made? No, no, no. There's no oversight. Opening night. Was there oversight when they called me to do the show for no, nothing? No, but maybe they... Oh, called. I did for I nothing. See. For oh, nothing? I, yeah, I did wow. it for nothing. Wow, you did it for free. Absolutely. That's unbelievable. No, because I'm a gentleman. I was trying to help them. I wasn't trying to be a wise guy. I wanted them to succeed because you know why? It means work for people. So let's and say I'm the guy, working. let's say in the midst of all this opening night hoopla. Yeah, yeah. You know, Freddie Roman. Ah, eh, Pat doesn't want to come see me opening night. Maybe oh, he was a little embarrassed. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. really? Oh, really? Oh, 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 I see. You became his warrior. No, I'm asking you a no, question. I'm telling you. Don't fact. tell me I became his I'm warrior. I'm you saying, fact. is it possible? Hey, is Howard, it possible? Howard, I'm is it possible? No, it's not possible. No. All right. Because when you're selfish, when you're born a dog, you can't die a cat. Remember what I'm telling you. Right. When you're born a dog, you can't die a cat. You're saying a person Remember can't that. change their color. No, oh, exactly. Is that what I said? Thank That's you. it. Thank oh, hit, get the commercial. All right. Now, well, you, now and, you've seen. And you would have been closing the show had you gone. Forget closing and opening the third. That wasn't my concern. Robin, my concern was I didn't want to do what, it. What we have been privy to yes. is a show business feud. This is what they call in show business. Not a feud the because I don't think of them. I don't think of them when I. Hey, I don't Listen, think of you're upset with them. You felt you were treated as less than zero. You brought it up, and I defend my right to tell you. Let me ask you. Does a zebra 
ever change his spots? No. Okay. All right. That's what I want to do. I just said that. <laughs> Born a dog, you can't die a cat. Now you got me into zebras. All right. Let's take a break, Robin. Let's get back to the news. because yes, Pat please. Has... I, I think Pat needs a rest. Yeah. In fact, got to rest his vocal cords. All right. We'll be back right after these words. Did you hear Pat screaming in here during the commercials? No. Oh, He's you missed still it. still screaming. Oh, you were screaming about Freddie Roman. Oh, yeah. I don't scream. You know something? It's not even that important anymore. I got, I, I'm beyond that. They're not in my Do most anymore. people like Freddie Roman? I don't. I don't know. I don't. Uh, you Do know his friends like no, him? No, no. Freddie Roman is for Freddie Roman. He has. I don't. He, 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 you don't think he has? He doesn't friends. have a heart for other people. That's why. That's the impression I get. He's very cold. Only for Freddie Roman. I told you when you go sitting in the tone, he's asking for a tone. You got to better your mind. Right. I mean, I, I want to be awarded something that I be. You know, and in my heart, if I know I didn't deserve it, I wouldn't take it. Does seem wrong to go ask the Tony. Well, he'd he ask for anything. He wants to be. He wants to be on. A, he wants to be a big star. Fine. If that's the way he runs his career, that's his business. I stay away from these people. Right. I got. I got my own life to lead. I. I, I you, you know something? He, he, you really don't get involved. I don't get involved. With none of them. You know why? Because they, they, you know how God punishes you, honey? He turns around, gives you success, and then he t teaches you that you can't handle it. And none of these guys can handle it. they walking around like, hey, I've been successful for 30 years, for crying out loud. I walk around like I'm still a long showman that I'm proud to be. These guys are not proud. They don't know where they came from. They don't give a damn. All of a sudden, they're in show business. Are you kidding me? It I'm sounds in like show there's business. a lot more going on here than yeah, just. Well, you're trying to dig with a shovel. Put the shovel down. There. No, no, no. There's a lot of things going on. I here. get angry because I respect my fellow performers. And I fight for my. How did you respect them? How do you respect them? Very simple. You call. Did you hear Tom Jones? Did you hear Uncle Bill Did you ever hear Julio Iglesias? Who? What? Did you hear these guys? Tom Jones. Yeah. I'm the guy. Who's the second guy? Humperdinck. What's his first name? Julio. No. Engelbert. Engelbert. Go ahead. Engelbert. All right. Pat Coop is a guy that went on radio, went on television, and demanded that these people who come from foreign countries in my country better put the name of the of the American comic on a marquee because they're out of order, they're disrespectful. But these idiots who ain't got the balls, right. they sit there and go, "Well, yeah, I don't want to start it. Otherwise, they can hire me anymore." Where's your character? I got Freddie Roman's name on that goddamn thing. You listen to Cooper. I got it on there. Right. I got the Dick Caprice, and I got all these kind of guys on there. Me, because I put my head in the news for them. Did anyone ever thank you? George Wallace, a nice guy, George. George Wallace worked with Tom Jones. He only was, it was an eye test. You could not see George. You thought there were flies going across the marquee. Couldn't see his name on the marquee. Cooper turned around and I blew my cool. And the English guy, the manager of this guy, oh, what you talking? You're talking at a turn. I say, you're in my country. Where's your second paper? Wait, I gotta hear that British accent again. <laughs> <laughs> you went by that too fast. I get a call again. They won't, you see, you folk, you see, you folk, I said, I don't care who you are, right. what you are. Right. I said, you're in my country and I think that our performer, American American performer deserves at least 50, 60 percent bullying. At least when their mother comes down the aisle and sees their name up there, they're proud. But the Freddy, I don't see Freddy's or none of these great comics stand up for their for their dignity and pride. I stood up for these guys, you and I never got a thank you from none of them. But I'll tell you, you right now, you think you deserve the phone call that someone say, "Hey, thank you, Pat. Thank you for Let sticking me tell up for something. us today." I represent more more decency in my business with my right. yelling right. and with my screaming. Sure, okay, I yell right. scream, yeah, you scream, but I got news here, pal. Right. You know where I'm coming from. Right. These guys are weasels. Right. They get the money. Let's get the money. Hey, don't tell nobody. Get the money. Well, maybe next week we get a name. I told Julio Inglaces, hey, buddy, listen to me, pal. You're a hummer. You know what you are? A hummer. You What's come that? here, you make a hummer. Mm -hmm. You worked with Julio Iglesias? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. You Robert, worked on the same bill with Julio Iglesias? No, no, no. I saw what he does. You, you don't see the comic's name? It's an eye test. So you told him no. You would not work with I him? Went, I met him at the at, 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 at Merv Griffith's place, the resorts. Yeah. He's you in the him. hallway. I go, Julio. Comedian. Name up on my key. The guy ran away. He got scared. You yeah, know why? Well, well. You know why? Yeah. You go to Brazil and you go to England and you treat that performer like they treat American performer, they stop you. But the idiots in this country, the great comics and the great stars, I'm gonna be a star, they become eye tests. That means they don't have faith in their in their comedic talent. Why were you in here screaming about Johnny Carson and, and urinating on his leg? What was that? Johnny about? Carson. That's the truth. What is the truth? You urinating me, on Johnny Carson's uh, leg? Shh, no no no. <laughs> would you let me, what, what do you, what, what, let me tell my story. I was gonna say, you should have been at Gary's back. What reminded me is when the John <laughs> Rivers thing, <laughs> with the John Rivers thing, yeah, her about dog. the dog on top of the seat. First of all, who cares about John Rivers and her dog? Let's start with that. Right. Here's a girl that loves it. She loved this publicity. She got this morning, she was mentioned again, cause she's a lonely woman. Right. And even if it means getting publicity to her dog's urine, she don't care how she gets it. She loves it. Right. Urine or dump, she wants to get in the paper. Right. Let's start with that. Now. So you're saying she's nine, not upset about being in the paper? No, 
this woman is a publicity happy lady. But let me put it this way. How many times I said on this air, right. when you knock her brains out, she can't take it. Right. But she likes to knock other people's brains out. Right. I think 60 Minutes made a statement. I think 60 Minutes had some reason. They went there. There must have been little pee pee poopy all over the place. And I think her manager or the girl that represents her, she, she knew what happened. And let me tell you something. That dog to her is God. Right. You go second tight. Her dog. If you were drowning, the dog's drowning. You drown. All right. You trust me. <laughs> that little poopy pippy puppy puppy. That yeah. little pain in the ass dog. You I really mean, uh, dislike Joan Rivers. No, you do. You no, dislike her. Be like, honest. No, I say don't. You dis I, don't like. I, I, I can't stand her. You can't stand uh, her. Now she's in a restaurant. Brings that little puppy underneath the underneath the table. Why did you see that? Yeah, absolutely. You saw her in a restaurant in, with the in dog. In Caesar's Palace, and she had the dog underneath. And what did you say to her? I don't say nothing because you know the dog here. And you think it's wrong because you're trying wrong. to... Wrong. I don't want cats in my restaurant. I don't want dogs in my restaurant. I don't want fleas on and my restaurant. And nobody else is allowed to bring in an animal into oh, a restaurant. Oh, but she's John Rivers. Right. She walks in there. Oh, mister, don't worry. Put your little poopy, 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 poopy under the table. I got your poopy, poopy under the table. Keep that stuff out of here. It's unhealthy. Keep your dog where it belongs. A dog is a dog. Treat a dog like a dog. No, she treats her like as a second husband. Right. Now, get back to Johnny. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> oh, he's revved up now. <laughs> Who is lower? Joan Rivers, Freddie Roman... Or your first wife? Who do you hate the most? Be I don't honest. hate. No, hold it. Yeah. Hold it. I don't hate. Who could you? If I you had to be in a room alone yeah. with one of those three people, yeah. which one could you be in? Let's say it's the end of the world, and it's the end rest of the world. Your life, yeah. You got what? You got to choose between, between these three: jo Joan Rivers, Freddie yeah. Roman, and your first wife. I would be with Freddie Roman. You would. <laughs> <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> I would rather be on. Now the, let's Freddie say it's Roman. between uh, you know Joan why? Rivers and your first wife. Yeah. Who would you be with? Joan Rivers. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and what if you're on the island with your first wife? I commit suicide. <laughs> you really never got along with her. Uh, I, listen, I don't hate yeah, anybody. Listen, you I must have been in love with your first wife at one point in your life. Yeah, Thursday. No, come on. You must have at some point your first wife you must have been in love. Afternoon. Look, look, absolutely. There's no question. You I mean, you I mean, made love young? to her? You had children with absolutely. her? Absolutely. I cannot you know, deny time? that, and I will never deny that. Do you think you were temporarily insane? I know. I think I was too young. I think right. we're both too young, and I think it was you know, it was just a sad situation. And you rushed to get married, and you... That's right. So I think I'm a different person now i think i'm a better person you i don't wish that marriage i don't wish now. anybody any harm just imagine how these two me. women feel that he would rather be on, on an island with a man <laughs> than 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 no not a man not a man, man. Freddie Freddie roman. Roman. there's a difference okay. you don't think freddie roman's a man no there's a difference what i said freddie roman freddie roman's a person he's not a man he's a male because a man wouldn't do what he does a man would have turned around and conducted himself like a man has he tried to call you and invite you i don't care if he calls me has he invited you to his broadway show no no has he said to you will your wife and you come well he said it here on the air Right. He said, then, then he called me at home. He said, oh, come on, you and your, it's too late. The ship sailed, baby. You offended me. The ship didn't sail, Freddie. It sunk. Goodbye. And that's the end of it. I see him. I wave. I wish him well. I don't wish him any harm. I wish his children success. That's all. But I'm going to tell you something. Right. This, this is over with me defending these guys and trying to be nice and plug, I plugged that show more than he did. Right. So what is he carrying on? Let me ask you. You can't forgive him. Get no, back to it's not even wife. to forgive. It's not even that important to right, forgive. It's over with. The first wife, I have to ask a question. He says he's older now. He's t Do you think you can make a marriage with her work now? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, what did he quickly, tell you why, Pat, no. tell me what happened with Johnny Carson. All right. All right. This is 1960. Why couldn't the marriage work now with you and your wife? Because I'm beyond, you know, her, her, her mentality, You're my a big mentality. Star now. No, 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 no. I'm not a star, I'm a name. There's mm. a difference. Oh, you're a name now. The your mentality wife. of You've the two apart. is completely different. I think right. I outgrew the situation, and maybe she outgrew my situation. They're happy. I don't even want to get involved. That Listen, I can never deny that that happened. Right. You never deny that. That's right. the truth. I got two children. Right. You don't deny that. It happened. I just wish they understand. I better myself. I try to do the best. I'm not an animal. And that's him. Goodbye. Goodbye. And that's him. That's, that's right. That's it. Now, okay. Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson, quickly, yes. And the reason I bring quickly... Well, not quickly. I mean, we're going to get to more news. And do, yeah, you know. you're, you're stopping. All right, no, not quickly. Do it as quick as you can. Right. I mean, do it in the, the fashion that you would like to. I never told the story yes? before because Jilly had told me, you know, Pat, don't mention it. Now, Jilly is Frank Sinatra's. Jilly's dead man. Yeah, Jilly passed Did you like Jilly? Yeah, I like Jilly. He, was, he helped a lot of people. He was a nice guy. But the only thing I didn't understand. And I you said don't speak ill of the dead. No, 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 no. He got, he got five eulogies. The Pope only gets one eulogy. Right. He got five. They right, kept so banging them all over the country. So what happened with Jilly? No, no. I was in Jilly's one night, and I had done the Carson show already about maybe two weeks before that. Right. And those days, Johnny was a heavy drinker. Right. I don't know. I go into the men's room, and I'm in by, by the urinal. Right. And all of a sudden, I hit on my on my shoe. I turn around. There's Johnny. I go, hey, you, 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 you're urinating on my shoe. He's going, what? <laughs> and I mean, Prrr, and he don't stop. He wants the wrong side of my pants. I'm going, hey, hey, <laughs> cut it out. I said, he goes, when I'm Johnny Carter, get who you are. Stop peeing on my shoe. And that's on my pants. What happens is, Jilly comes running in. Yeah. 
Pat, what are you yelling? Hold on. And I said, Jilly, you know. Right away, they start blaming you. No. no like, way. you're out of control. Let me finish the story. Go ahead, yeah. I got control of my words. I got to calm down. All right, go ahead. Jilly comes in and goes, Pat, I this man's weeing all over my shirt, <laughs> all over my shoes. He goes, but he's Johnny Carson. Let him pee on your shoe if he's Johnny right. Carson. Was that an honor to have him pee on my shoe? <laughs> Hope he dumps on your head, Jilly. Come on. I said, and he goes, whatever you do, don't say nothing, you know, because you won't go on the show again. I right. said, oh, really? I said, look at this thread. In other words, he could pee on me right. if I want to go on the you. show. Right. All in right. other words, you're supposed to keep your mouth shut. Yeah. But even if a guy on. urinates yeah. on you. So what happened? Right. That's the caution mystique. Well, I love you know that. What? Wait a minute. I didn't finish. If I peed on someone, I would apologize. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't and what was Ed doing? Dumping on the bar? No, 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 no. Ed, 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 Ed was, was a gentleman. Actually, no, but right. here's no, no. Ed, well, they were both bombed. In those days, they were heavy drinking. Right. Okay. Okay. Now here's the coup de grace. Did Johnny know it was you peeing? The coup de grace. Did, 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 Johnny did it know? matter who he was peeing? No, it was like I said. I'm Johnny Carson. I said I don't care who you are. Did he, he know who you were? I don't know. He didn't know who he was, really. He didn't know he was. But you had already been on the show. Yeah, but, hey. Do you think Johnny would have held it against you had you said something? Well, let me tell you why. Right, Will you happened? let me get to the head of the coup de grace? Sorry, go ahead. Four years later, I'm doing a show called Celebrity Sweepstakes on NBC and Boy Bank. All right? Johnny Carson's in his monologue. In his monologue, they tell him that, you know, when he finishes his monologue, they go to commercial, that his guest has not shown up yet. I'm in the studio. I'm standing there. He wouldn't put me on. The Why? man, because he just wouldn't. They said, we've got Pat Cooper's doing something. We'll put Pat on for eight, nine, ten minutes. Would not put me on. But Why? Yet he because he urinating? No, be because I got mad. He peed on my shoe. I'm but how did you know you were mad? What? You didn't give me. I yelled at him, and then Jilly said, Pat, Pat, back off. Don't worry about it. We'll straighten it. I wow. straighten what up. Back off. I say, nobody wheezes on me. Nobody. Isn't that amazing? You see, this is what I mean with Johnny Carson. The guy peed on Pat. Uh, on Pat. He <laughs> urinated on Pat. Like a dog. He was drunk. I don't think he went intentionally right, to come so over to me. Yeah, and you're yeah, not, not allowed to there. say anything. You're supposed to allow the guy to finish urinating. You're yeah. not saying anything. No, but as he was talking, Jilly, the guy was still going. <laughs> did you swing at him? You no. didn't hit him? No. Did no. you see Johnny's penis? No. Let me tell you something. Did you see Johnny's penis? <clears throat> yeah. You did? Yeah. How big was it? How big is your nose? Three inches. There it is. Seriously? I don't know. Well, you think I'm a penis collector? No, really. Well, how big was it? Unusually big? I don't know. I don't remember. But it was all right. It was, it was a normal. It was like a normal size. It was a normal peeing one. Right. I didn't see him in the other way. <laughs> Did you ever pee on Freddie Roman? No. no. I wouldn't do that because I have too much respect for people. Right. I don't do that. I don't want to hurt Freddie Roman and kill him and destroy That's him. That's unbelievable that Johnny Carson yeah. would urinate on Pat and then hold it against him. Yeah. No, no. Hey. Hey, see, John Rivers got mad. He should have peed on John Rivers. Right. That's who he should have peed on. All right, let's get back to the news. Go ahead. All right. And by the way, Pat Cooper's going to be at the pond. He can justify peeing on Joan Rivers. Yes, yeah. that I can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 You I really hate Joan. Peeing. You hate her. I don't her. hate her. I don't, do. I don't like her because I think Joan Rivers can't take it when you give it to her. And remember, you give it to her. Let's just say that Pat, a long time, you know when Joan was really at the height of her popularity yes, and, and she'd she make was fun really of Liz Taylor? Yeah. On people, yes. Pat decided that this was wrong and he said, hey, I'm going to give her a little dig. And he put out a comic book about Joan Rivers. Oh, I went on Sally Jesse Raphael for half an hour. She gave me half an hour why I didn't like Joan Rivers. Oh, really? Is that what did it? That was before the comic book? Yeah. Then I put the comic book out, and I sent her a big basket, and I told her, like, Joan, you know, grow up already. What are you, come on, you know, lighten up. What's the matter? Only you can talk about people? I'm talking about you. Who are you, Joan? You know, she's the luckiest girl in the world. This Yenta is the luckiest, yuck, luckiest girl. Why I eat her up for breakfast. Because, I eat her because up. you don't feel she's that No, time. because, you know, you know what it is? She wants, she wants so bad to be recognized on her times. Right. You know what her times are? What are they? Complete stardom of the whole world, and she's never going to get it because she's not that talented. She's not that talented. She's the luckiest woman. She should fell, kiss the floor, and thank God that she got this far. Remember what I told you. All right, there you go. Next. Okay. Huh. Next. Well, I don't understand. <laughs> what is it about her that makes him say she wants to be star of the world? Because just look at her actions. She went, No matter where she goes, she thinks she's special. And that dog, anyone with a brain, yeah. should leave the dog to dog them. A dog belongs in dog. Got a point there. A dog belongs in a yard to breed and listen to the birds. <laughs> Not to be put under somebody's crotch on an airplane and right. the poor dog's going to drop dead from all right, the Pat, Let's get into a couple other issues, all right? Oh, my let's goodness. do a little news. Why not? <laughs> let's, do, let's find out if there are any other issues. Right. Prosecutors investigating the finances of Mayor David Dinkins' 1989 campaign are looking into charges that the campaign list of contributors included people who denied donating money. They also say they only collected $50,000 in cash, yet they have people testifying or giving testimony that uh, the cash was being taken out in garbage bags. So what you're saying is the mayor, our mayor in New York, is 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 what? He has extra money? Well, I don't know whether these were the campaign management people or David Dinkins himself, but what the uh, investigators are implying is that a lot of people took 
a- additional monies for their salaries from this cash. What will happen is that was pouring into the campaign. David Dinkins is the only mayor I know that will actually use as a defense that he never knows what's going on. He is out of control. He just says, listen, I'm a very naive guy. I mean, this is the same guy who said to us, I forgot to pay my taxes. Forgot well, to pay my taxes. he's not good with money. That's no, he's not good with money. He's the mayor, and he's not good with money. I forgot to pay my taxes. Well, what is he going to say? Do you forget to pay your well, taxes? what is he going to say? I if forgot to pay my taxes. The, that's the nicest way out. So now he's going to say, well, you know what it is. I don't know what's going on with is my taxes. Is he going to say, I stole from the government, I don't want to pay him? He says, you know what, but I forgot. It was a bad Tuesday, so I had a headache. I forgot. So what I wish I say? could forget. You can't forget, because you're not the David Dinkins. You're not the political people who are running this country, unfortunately. Right. That's right. <laughs> What else? <laughs> what else is going on, Robin? Uh, let me see. That um... sits on a horse and puts on a hat and sings. This guy. Who's that? Dinkins. Well, he's gonna do something. What else is he going to do? Exactly. Sydney. What else is he going to do? No, what no, could no. he do? He's got. See, we voted for an image here. We didn't vote for a great, 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 great. No, I'll tell you what we voted for. We voted for a black guy because yeah. we thought that he would calm the blacks, the black people down. They would well, behave. they've been very calm. Well, they actually have. Yes. See, so it works. Well, he did did work. <laughs> well, listen, he thanked so everybody on radio. You he got thanked what everybody. You he thanked everybody for not rioting. That right. was a nice thing. He said, "Thank everybody for not rioting." Can you imagine a guy got on and said, "Thank you for not rioting," like like they did him a favor? Thank you, Payne. Thank you for not rioting. Excuse me. You're not supposed to riot. No. You don't thank somebody for not doing yeah, something. Yeah, for not that doing the wrong see, thing. That's what it is. That's, that's why that's the world has gone nuts. We know the world's gone nuts. That's why when you're honest. That's why you're a smart man. They don't want you around when you're honest. How would I tell you on the embassy? Who are you for? You. Who are you for? Who uh, doesn't want you around? Ross Perot. Ross Perot. May I, I tell you, I am too. May I tell you why? Go ahead. What do we got to lose? Right. We already know the other two guys. This guy, we take a shot for four years and can't get any if worse. It's, if it's bad, then we'll get rid of him. Can I tell you something? He's Go a ahead. billionaire. We know he's not looking for the money. He wasn't right. going to take it with him. He's going to die anyway. Right. He's got the prestige of being president. He's I able got, to articulate. And he's saying things that the other two guys ain't saying. I'm with you. That's All right. Can I go on? Yes, my love. Come on. We're getting worked up. We're doing Where's a parole rally. Sidney Oreso is still missing, and uh, law Ooh. enforcement authorities. He's an Exxon no, executive yeah, yes, who yeah, was. They caught the two people, right? Right. Right, they caught two people, put them in jail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he likes to prove he knows the story. <laughs> sure, I got, what am I, stupid? I can't get a word out. Sidney Rezzo, did he used to work for uh, Frank Sinatra? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Jilly. Oh, Jilly Rezzo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, they're, they now say they're pessimistic about finding the Exxon executive alive. Let me say something. Uh, they should torture those two individuals that are involved in this. Am I right, Pat? Yeah. And they should just, if once we can, we can let the rules be a little lax. They kidnapped this, this guy, this poor guy. He goes to work every day. Uh, they got a, they, they were on tough times, so they decided to kidnap him, and they probably killed him. Maybe not. If he's still, if there's a chance that this guy's alive, hours are ticking away. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Torture well, that's them. the whole point. They say that if these two people, now that they're in custody, if they had him stashed somewhere alive, they would be using that as a bargaining chip Absolutely. to try to lessen their time Absolutely. or get some, Leniency from the court, but that, this, they got leniency automatic. There's no death penalty. You got to do. No, so. they're in New Jersey. There's a death. Penalty. Oh, there is. Well, yeah. that's some of the college boys. Then kill them. Educate yeah. them. Educate, educate <laughs> them. You torture them. You Before make you them... die, you must be educated so you can walk to the chair. No, you, you know them... why you're going. You make them sit through six performances of Catskills on Broadway, <laughs> and then you torture them more. Then you t- show them the Joan Rivers show. <laughs> that's right. Then you fly- make them watch the Joan Rivers show, <laughs> and then at the They'll end of it. Talk. That's right. And then they have to sit with the dog for a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Howard, did you realize? <laughs> realize I got, I got a headache. That we now have a gay monument oh. in New York? Yeah. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you about that. Okay, listen. I, you know me. I say everybody um, live and let live. If you want to be gay, you can do what you want to do, right? I'm sure, Pat, uh, being in uh, Don't show business. Don't shove it down people's throat. Right. Just be gay and buy and go about your business, go shopping, wave, dance with each other, be love, kiss and hug. Don't stop putting statues in the name of plain skin, old sky rider saying everybody's gay. Be nice. Back off because you know what's going to happen? There's going to be an uprising. We don't want that. Everybody should be nice and mind your business. Right. Well, I don't know why there's a monument, but there is a monument in the Sheridan Square Park near the former Stonewall Bar where the gay rights movement allegedly began. But they have a monument to, uh, to, to what? To having sex with another guy? Yes. Or another woman. They got baseball cards with criminals on it. What the hell else is going on in this world? And let me tell you something. If Adolf Hitler come out of the jungle tomorrow, yeah. everybody in there better be fighting to get him on the air. So they're all hypocrites. Right. They're all about, hey, Charles Manson, I said it the other day, and I mean, he's been on television more than three comedians. Right. I don't understand what's going on in America. Commit a crime, kill. Here's your answer. You turn around the Oprah Winfrey, the Donahue shows, the DeMaury Povey show. If you want to kill your mother before you do, call me up. Right. What is going on that's in America? Who gets, that's who they reward with the TV. Appearance. That's what happens. That's right. See, greatness don't mean nothing and talent don't mean nothing today sensationalism well to to applaud i mean in other words i don't have a statue to my <laughs> to, sex, to my sexuality right 
but to to put a statue devoted to someone's sexuality seems a bit bizarre to I me. I think so. Well, what's next? A, a KY fountain in Central Park? No, no. Park? John Rivers' It'll dog. John Rivers' dog. They'll put a thing at John Rivers' dog. It'll be plastered all over the United States. And now to be a sculptor, to be an artist, right. you have to now... Uh, depict gay scenes. You can't Absolutely. get your work shown otherwise. There you go. Well, now I'm making a, I, let me tell you yeah. I'm making a marble anus right now. Really? Say, you will get shown. You love that? You I'll take four in blue. It's a statue of a schwinkter. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you something else. The gays really don't like the statue. Excuse me, Robin. I'm busy working. Oh, <laughs> Come on. Give me a stance here, will you? I can't talk to you while you work. This is a working schwinkter. Yeah. This, oh, yeah. progr- this is a work in progress. Hold it. Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh. <laughs> no, the gays really don't like the statue, Howard. They say it falls short in that it isn't inclusive of black and Hispanic gays, oh, yeah. nor does it recognize transvestites or transsexuals. Oh, Could you imagine the statue I mean, that could recognize all that? Could you imagine one statue that It'd would actually... It'd be a daisy chain. Yeah, it would be like 900 guys all piled on top of each other. <laughs> Getting out of control. I think they should stop it and, then, and, and let's, let's regroup. No, it's just that there's so many different splinter groups yeah. in our society. It's well, they got nothing to do. There's too much free time. Put them in the army for a couple of years. Never mind the sexuality yeah. issue. I mean, everybody is in a group. Everyone has their own group. And if you have all these groups dividing America with their own agenda... It all is lost. Because nobody can think on their own. They right. must think what other people think. They're afraid. have no confidence in themselves. Have you, are you in a group? No. I don't belong to nothing. Right. I do what I got to do, and I know what I got to do, and I know what's wrong and right. That's I don't need I no special you. laws or lawyers to tell me this is wrong. I know. You when know I what's do right wrong. and wrong. Yeah, but it's all con artists who turn around and say, you're, you no, don't ever say you're wrong. I'm going to tell you you're right. right. They don't care. Right. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I want to be punished. That's the end of the story. Right. It's con artists. I would put lawyers out of business in 30 seconds because right. I would admit the truth. I did it. Leave me alone already. Go ahead, Robin. You know what your greatest fear is, Howard? Pat coming back on the show tomorrow? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought that was my greatest fear. That's yours too. What is your greatest fear? <laughs> no, your greatest fear is being buried alive. Remember? Oh, yeah. He always said, leave you alive, I leave mean, you up above the ground for several days to yes. make sure you're dead. Being oh. buried alive is the worst. I think so. That's the worst thing that could happen. I saw a Twilight Zone once where this guy got buried alive. Oh. Yeah. Snuck out of prison. He put himself in. Well, that in... was a TV show. Every time I go yeah. through the Holland Tunnel Lincoln story. Tunnel, I think that one day. Oh, that's the worst. That one day, somebody had to pull a plug. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Robin. Go ahead, take uh, Everybody has this fear then. Yes. A young man in uh, Beijing That's passed me. out for more than 10 hours after drinking too much and was buried alive by his family who thought he was dead, Oy. according to the official newspaper Oy. there. How did you get up? Put, bury Beijing me with a shovel. Evening News said family members carried the 18-year-old home after he lost consciousness and laid him on his bed. They gave him about 10 hours to regain consciousness. He didn't, so they thought he was dead. They didn't want his body cremated, which is the way in China. Uh-huh. So what they did was they bought a coffin put him in it, and they dug a grave secretly. Three I don't days know. This later. Sounds, this sounds a little wild, no, but no, go no. ahead. Yeah. Three days later, yeah. local officials heard about the burial and persuaded the family to cremate the body. When they opened the coffin, they found the body in a sitting position with arms pushed against the sides of the coffin. The young man's fingertips were bloodied from trying to claw out. Oh, His body man. was covered in blood. His clothes were in shreds. Wow. A doctor who examined the body said Chin had regained consciousness about 24 hours after being buried. Wow. Oh. That's terrible. Now, if Joan Rivers' dog was dead, he could have dug her up. All right. <laughs> he would have known. <laughs> sure. Maybe oh, that's, that's why Joan can't keep the dog incredible? in case they bury her alive. Oh, the dog will man. smell and find Joan. Didn't they call a doctor just to confirm that he was dead? These uh, are some Beijing, you know, uh, Chinese you know, they're over people. There, they're over there. They, they, they White there. trash. <laughs> White trash. Yellow trash. <laughs> Yellow trash. <laughs> Yellow trash is right. <laughs> so they just figured they'd take care of it themselves. Wow, that's terrible. Hey, Pat, this just came in. Uh, next to the gay statue, they're putting up a statue of Lola Falana. <laughs> really? In the park, yeah. Now, that makes sense. That makes sense. You don't like her. What does I, don't, that I, I don't even discuss her the most. That means she's out of my life. I know, I know. You know something? That's yesterday's news. We okay. talk about today's news. Those right. days are gone. What else is in the news, Robin? What's in the news? Uh, I better wrap up everything. Okay, huh? go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Lang had to uh, leave the stage. Mm hmm. She was in Streetcar Named Desire, playing her part. All right. She was sick. And uh, got sick during the matinee. You know, they had the intermission, and uh, they extended it for five minutes, and then her understudy had to come on stage and finish up for her. They don't know exactly what's wrong with her or how long she'll be out. She's not professional, right, Pat? 
Well, to leave the stage. I mean, what, what, you can't be sick and uh, go on but with the see, That's not professional. I don't say in her case, but sometime again, like I mentioned Julio Iglesias, one woman turned around and says, Julio, could you come on this side so I can see your Betty walked off the stage? Right. He you got, got insulted. 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 I, for $20 million, she could have turned around the side of my lap. Right. But they, they get nuts. They think they You special. saw that happen? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I told you, was that the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Merv Griffin's, uh, the, right. Uh, and Julio Iglesias, the woman said, please, Julio. So, Julio, come on this side. You know, the girls were swooning over him. Right. And he turned around and she broke his mood. Right. And they made an announcement and said, ladies and gentlemen, please do not talk to Julio. You're breaking his mood. <laughs> I'd like to break his balls. <laughs> yeah. what, like <laughs> what else, Robin? You might wonder what has happened to the sales of Sister Soldier Records or Ice T Records since uh, they became so controversial. Right. Sister Soldier, of course, with her fight with Bill Clinton. I hope nobody bought that a record. Big name. Well, apparently, it's doing absolutely nothing for CD sales, Good. according to New York retailers. Well, you know why? Did you see around Alan, uh, uh, Larry King? Yeah, I saw. She her. come off like a snide little dame. I mean, yeah. you know, there's a way of being, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, ang uh, angry at the situation with Clinton. Fine, but she came off. She kept telling. Oh, yeah. intelligent she was. Yeah, how intelligent. Meanwhile, she doesn't even have a command of the English language. We know that. Uh, 360 Degrees, which is her uh, album, peaked at number 78 on the Billboard uh, R&B charts and is no longer listed there. So didn't do anything yeah. for her record sales. Imagine all that publicity. Only she can't people sell buying it are the media. We bought a copy. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah, we had to get a copy. Mm -hmm. We could play it on the air. Okay, was that any good? No, oh, yeah, let's play. Uh, where is that? Forget about it. I don't want to hear it. No, you got to hear this. It's headache time. No, I want you to hear it. You might react to it. Yeah, is you it might like this. Is it a rap? You might go off like a rap. That's a rap, yeah. Oh, man. It's a man. Yeah, it's a yeah, rap, man. That stuff I can't get. That stuff that gets me crazy. There's no melody. Nobody's <laughs> melodic anymore. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got to admit, though, Pat, you're a little out of the mainstream when it comes to music. Why? Well, who are you to tell me that's the mainstream? Still listen to Frank what about Sinatra? my stream? You still listen to Frank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah, but my stream, Simon, is still going up the stream, pal. Yeah, no, but These are just... not mainstream. These are mud streams. Forget about it. You're people. a little out of it. Let's face it. Hey, let me you're tell not you the something. hippest guy on the block. I don't want to be the hippest guy on the block, but I'll tell you one thing. My common sense shows me how hit I am. I got great common sense. These people are a nuisance to me. You put it that, then you the fuck to do the All right, hold on. Let me get this sister get, soldier. Get, if your white great great grandfather killed my great great grandfather, this is it. And your white great grandfather sold my great grandfather. <laughs> I wish you had my grandfather knock on her ass. Raped my grandmother, yeah. and your father stole, cheated, lied, and robbed my father. What kind of a Pat? Want to dance? Oh yeah, to love to dance to this. This is you dip with friend, these things. This is a dip. Daughter and son. Good evening, America. This is your president. Please listen carefully to the announcement I'm about to make. After careful consideration and research, Vice President Duke, Congress, and myself have concluded that black people have not advanced technologically. Their educational testing scores are on a rapid decline. The vast majority of them are on welfare and producing babies at a faster rate than they can support them. And we will not carry them anymore. We are left with no other choice but to put slavery back into effect. All blacks will report to the designated camps in their area to receive further orders. The only blacks excused will be those serving in the United States military and the police. Any blacks who do not cooperate will be terminated immediately. I repeat, slavery is back in effect. I re That's what I told you. I know you heard what the president said, and if the nigga don't move, then he's dead. <laughs> you know what was good? Here's a, here's a song I like. Let me, let me, let me play this. Oh, no. <laughs> this is Pat Cooper's Pepperoni now, Kid. you have a hero whose name's on every lip. The Pepperoni Kid, my friend, with a cue stick on his hip. The greatest pool shot in the land. <laughs> oh, he's rapping. Pat, you're rapping. Is that rapping? You're one of the original. Pepperoni stick. <laughs> You know, you're actually talking. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Jeez, I, I, I'm, I'm a hit now. Watch out. Let me I get mean... one with Pat singing. Oh. <laughs> Homemade wine. Pat Cooper. Homemade wine. Oh, Homemade wine. Nothing was as fine as Papa's homemade wine. Yes, Come on. The any you flip. Ba 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 boom around the room. Capitino. Papa's homemade wine. I talk about racist songs. Pat put one out. Moulignon. Mama's Moulignon. Mama's Moulignon. Yeah, that's a biggie. Mama's mo Moulignon is what the Italian people call black people. Moulignon. Yeah. That's not, no, not, no, what else is not? You have to put out a song about that. I didn't put out a song about black people. I just put about an eggplant that came out of the ground that was grown. But isn't there sort of a... No, there isn't. Now, you were hip. 
Mama got a letter from my brother Anthony. Seems he took an ocean trip to sunny Italy. He tells her that he misses her in such an offhand way. Listen while I read to you just what he has to say. Mama, how I miss your moon in the under. What do you think he went uh, go with singing career or something? No, that was uh, done by United Artists, a gentleman called Danny Demino, who wrote a song called "Return to Me" and "I Can't Get You Out of My Heart." And he wrote this song. He said, "Pat, put on a record." Yeah, I you can carry a tune. You carry well, a tune. I carry a tune. Yeah. Well, you know, but I'm yeah. Uh, You're a name. I get crazy. Robin, anything else? Anything else, Robin? Yes, Billy Joel graduated from Hicksville High School. Oh, Is he going to his prom? Ninety-two. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to the prom tonight? No, I don't think so. Yeah. He says that he never dropped out of school. He just didn't have enough credits at the end of the year to graduate. He, he thought they would probably pass him through, but somehow they didn't. How do you and like uh, he wound up not getting his diploma. So, so they gave him where they had the points or not. Am I correct? N well, I don't know how. Did he get his points? You're correct. <laughs> I'm correct. In other words, it tells me. In other words, and, if a guy. Because I got one week high school. Right. I got no credits. So if I become the biggest thing in the country, I got to go to high school. I'm going to get a diploma. <laughs> shove it up the patoos. What they do, uh, Pat, is this. So stupid. For all these kids who work hard to graduate high school, mm -hmm. it teaches them a very negative lesson. Right. Suddenly, if you're Billy Joel, you're, you can play the piano. <laughs> right. Then you're entitled to a free ride uh, uh, concerning your high school diploma. Absolutely. He didn't go back to high school and finish his diploma. They just gave it to him. And he took it. And he took it. Well, sure. He shouldn't have took it. He should, he should he not have. He turned around and kept playing. Not even get when the high school called and said, look, I did graduate. I'm doing very well. I'm thankful. No. Next, he want a college thing now. Right. Now he'll get a degree like, like uh, these other guys. Yeah. How many of these guys go get college degrees for free? Well, wait a minute. I guess Billy Joel qualifies at least when they call me an honorary policeman they give me badges did i don't want to pass did he pass his courses no he was shy two credits yeah in english All right. i think that his years of writing yeah oh you do qualify as some experience but they should have gave him a test he should pass they test like all the <laughs> other kids of course you're so he passed correct. English. So he passes english about you know about poetry writing songs but does he know about shakespeare <laughs> okay. What else? <laughs> Am I right? That's English. That's right. There you go. Well, he delivered the commencement address. <laughs> Naturally. What else are you going to come at? And now he's the valedictorian. The 350 uh, students there receiving their diplomas. You don't have a copy of that, do you? No. Do you, Robin? What? Do you have a no, I don't. Oh. I wish I did. You know, but like what he said Tuesday. was, if you keep at it, you will get your diploma. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm 63. I'm going to keep no at it. No matter how long it takes. I was going to tell you something. I wasn't angry about not graduating. If your high school came to you right now, and I would try to be We want to honor you. No, with no, no. You would not take I it. run. I run the other way. I said, look, I, could, I succeeded. I want to tell kids out there in the colleges that you don't have to go to all the schools in the world. Right. We need Jewish bricklayers. We need plumbers. Ten oh, years from now, ten years from now, all these great college students, all these geniuses will be sitting behind their desk, and all of a sudden there's a leak in the ceiling, and a guy goes, get a plumber. What's a plumber? Nobody can plumb. You need plumbers. We need people who can plumb, bricklayers, people who can brick. That's what we need. What We're else? sick and tired, all these geniuses, and the doctor cough, and raise your right arm, and raise your left arm. Where are the carpenters? The building's falling apart. You Where are the guys that the You timings? got a good point. You're making a very good point. Oh, Damn right. Dear. Yeah, but you make it so loud. What's the difference? Yeah, all right. Let's, uh, Robin, what else? The Board of Education finally approved an AIDS education curriculum, curriculum for yes. elementary school students. They think that children should be taught about AIDS at a very young age. Well, uh, I don't understand what they teach these kids. They don't have to learn. They can't learn. Well, they can't learn mathematics and they can't learn the spelling. Now they're going to teach them about AIDS and scare no, the data. That's everybody. easy stuff. You know what? When they used to come into my classroom and teach me the easy stuff, like mm -hmm. you know, they, I, you'd sit there and giggle, and uh, it, that's there's nothing to teach about AIDS. They could teach that in your house. I agree about AIDS. Well, if somebody's not doing it, though. I mean, some things are too important to leave to parents. You know, there's a cure for AIDS. There's a cure. Go ahead. The cure is to stay with one partner. Okay. And before you're with that partner, get a blood test each of you. You mean kids growing up now have to just choose one person. they got to right. look at somebody and say, I'm going to be with this person and this person only. Tough life, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. my, Howard. Yep. Well, you didn't do it. You never... There was no AIDS when I did it. Yeah. And I always wore a rubber. I'll tell you that. You didn't see me with venereal disease. You did, too, have a scare. I had a scare, but I didn't get it. 
Yeah, I don't know. I never had a scare. I never had nothing. I was bored with my sex life. I never had a great sex life, a big, heavy sex life. My sex life is this. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else, Robin? The changes the chancellor made since Friday included moving the mention of anal sex from fifth to sixth grade. What's anal sex? I don't understand. You ever have that? No, that's for another situation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you have no desire for that. I, I, I get sick from that nonsense. <laughs> Your oh, wife wouldn't a, let you uh, engage in that. My wife is, uh, my, forget about it. I know, but that, that's, that's, uh, what the How hell? How often do you make love to your wife? You're what now? 60 what? 63. Do you make love often? No. Once a week? No. Once a month? No. I'm just, I'm, you know, whenever, you know, I just, uh, I, I. But you don't have the mood or you just, no, you're just you know used to banging is? your wife? No, it's just me that I, I, it's me. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. I, I, but I, you still have an erection. Your I wife would like to. In the morning to go to the bathroom. Then when I go no, to the no, bathroom. No, no, you still get I'm aroused. You, do you still get aroused? No. When you see a young girl on the street, you don't get around. No, I don't. I don't go out. I don't. Yeah, I, but you would like to be with uh, some young girls, maybe. Then would, all those things you said to you me were lies. You make me a con artist, and I swear to you, you're like a brother to me, and I love you. I don't even think of those things. I don't go, you know, I swear, I would don't look at me that way. I'm telling you, you don't? I don't go around and say, wow, wow, I wish I could go to bed. What I, 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 I don't know. Really? I swear to you. So you, you look at your wife and every once in a I, while? I, you know, my wife's like, she's adorable. I'm wonderful. Right. I, I like, you know, you know, and she's you a friend. 30 years, 30 years. Right. I mean, pal, you know, uh, the shit, it, well, what am I going to do in 30 years? He goes, so how often do you have, what do you have sex, like three or four times a year? I don't know. On holidays? Does your wife ever say to you, gee, Pat, do you still find well, me attractive? My wife's a very, very, see, my wife's a very, very passionate lady, and a very, very sexy kind of a lady, and a very, very lovable woman. My wife's content if you hold her hand and hug her. Really? And I, and, and I say that. And you're content with that? I don't even hug at home because I, 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 my, I don't, I, I was You don't never, even think about stuff. No, you know why? Because I was uh, doing my child. We never did that in our house. Right. Nobody held hands and said, I love yeah, but you. But I mean, you get physically horny. I mean, there's a building. I haven't gotten horny. I don't remember no, when. No, come on, you do. You, you, you know, see it's your very physically. To be honest it's a physical, show. but you, it might be something physiologically wrong with yeah, you. Yeah, you should go check that out. Yeah. I did check it out. Do you have a pool boy that comes to the house regularly? <laughs> <laughs> you want to check into this? Can I but Pip, something? all those things you said to me are lies. Yes. Oh, I, yeah. saw you, I saw your picture on the wall, half naked there, and I said I admired. I didn't go, wow, look at him. I want to jump on. I don't want to jump on nobody. And my but your wife, your wife doesn't think there's something wrong with your marriage that you only have sex. No, once. I don't think she. Do you ever discuss she, sex? No. Do you ever discuss that you don't no. have a lot of sex? No. When did it end? I think the day to, if I got married. No, did you used to have a lot of sex? Not really, because you see, my wife knows the kind of man I am. I was never like, I must go, let's get it on, baby. I was never that kind of guy. Right. Never. Did you know well, when you first met her, you probably had sex every no, night. No, I never was that kind of, hey, baby, I got to, because I, because that was not my wife's style. My wife was not that kind but of. But you were very woman. hot for your wife when you first married. You've got to admit it's cooled down somewhat. Abs absolutely. You used to have a lot That's more natural. sex. That's Yes, absolutely. I don't like that, surely. I'm the, boy, I'm the most boring guy for sex, me. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm saying that you do physically have a need for sex. And no, I haven't. I, 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 I just don't. I, and your wife must think that you're not as attracted to her anymore. I don't know. I'm attracted to her. She's attracted to me. I, I mean, being in your business, you must have a lot of opportunities. Me? Yeah. I, I, I mean, there are opportunities. I'm a, I, I tell you, and he, again. Did you ever come on to Marilyn If a Michael? woman... Marilyn Michael, don't come on to nobody. You know, I got a reputation in my business. I'm a gentleman with right, women. I'm right, a gentleman. Right. I don't, I don't hit on nobody. I got no. I, it's, it's not my desire to hit on anybody. I'm a gentleman. I'll Is that your a, reputation in the business? Absolutely. As a gentleman. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Pat Cooper, a gentleman. I'm going to try to seduce Pat later on. See what happens. Yeah. Can I tell you something? What if she reaches for your I lap? I would embarrass you. You know why? You know why I would embarrass you? Because if you didn't get me an erection, I think you would hurt. I would probably hurt you if you said, "Yeah, can't turn this guy." In. I'm dead next time. I'm dead. Got a problem, Pat. I love you and I care about you, and I don't think about taking. Your clothes off. I have tremendous respect. You wake up in the morning, you're aroused, aren't you? <laughs> Once in a while, maybe right. on a Thursday. No, no, come on, seriously. I'm serious. I don't. Sometimes I don't. I, I don't. My but it mind, never bothered you. I spoke to my doctor. Wrong? I spoke to my doctor in Vegas, a friend of mine. I said, you know, I, this, uh, he said, Pat, that's nothing wrong with you. He said, first of all, you're a hyper kind of guy. Your mind's on nine thousand different things, and if that doesn't get you crazy every five minutes, that's your pleasure. Why should you have to be? Why should I feel sorry? If I don't want to do it that, say, today. Because you're like a monk. Week. Do you masturbate? No, I don't. On the road, I don't, I forget about it. You don't. Know. No, I think I your wife would consider. That cheating. <laughs> All right, Robin. Anything else we got to get? Uh, <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, Let's right. get out of here. Lionel Richie. My wife right now is going. Oh my God! What is he talking about? <laughs> Lionel Richie, you never masturbated your whole life? Yeah. Oh, you did. Anytime. When I was a kid, sure. Right. When Absolutely. did you stop? What age? I don't know. Sixteen. Not, I bet you he still does it. <laughs> no. I, I bet you. When's the last time you did it? God, 40 years ago. Get out of here. In that apartment alone, yeah. Pat? Oh, come on, Pat. That apartment alone. <laughs> Sometimes you can't get to sleep at night. Don't no, admit I that you do. me. I can sleep standing up. I can sleep in a closet. Pat, you masturbated. You, no, I'm not going to say it. But in the last 40 years, not 40. Once. 40 years you have not Boy, masturbated absolutely. I don't have no time. I don't have much time on my oh, mind. Oh, you have time. <laughs> he has. I guarantee. Raise your right hand and say, You're I swear disc
I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. Oh, must I? Is that the law? No, it's not the law. It's just I'm a kind of guy. All I want to do is do what I do, and I'm unhappy what I'm doing. Robin, what else is in the news? Lionel yeah. Richie just signed a thirty million dollar deal with Polygram. Oh, sure. He hasn't had a hit record in ten no, years. No, I don't understand why million, they would make that deal. Let me explain how these record deals are made. Jeez. It's not a thirty million dollar deal. It's thirty million dollars if he sells some records. Right, absolutely. There's the potential for that. Right. In other words, he, he signed for zero, and thirty million dollars if he sells some records. Right. It's not a $30 million deal, right? Absolutely. All right, because it doesn't make sense. He's not, I mean, what has he done? Then I should have a $300 million deal. <laughs> Absolutely. You're going to get it. That's right. You're going to get They're it. They're putting out a new... And then where do you go? <laughs> where do you go after I you get go the home. That's where I'll go. Right. Nah, you'd never go home. You I would, sure would. You would go crazy. Can you retire right now with $50 yes. million? Dollars? If I had $50 million, I'd be retired today. I would Absolutely. What would you do? What would you do? I would sit home. I'd, I'd sit home. I'd do things. I would uh, really? watch TV, movies, laser discs. Okay. See, I believe that. Now, why do I, I believe that in you? I, you should believe it. I do, it's because I think, I think that's what... That, you that's don't why. think you'd have more sex? Yes, I would. I absolutely would have more sex with my wife if I had if I had just full-time concentrating on her and I didn't meet any Where's other girls. Where's the law that says you got to have sex every time uh, your wife you looks at you? What's the law? When what I'm on vacation, got, I have more sex with my wife. What if a person ain't got the ability? What if a person don't want to do it? You know I don't masturbate Where's the I'm... law? The man don't answer me. Where's the law said that you, you got to get laid Excuse every me, you know I don't minutes. masturbate when I'm on vacation? I know. That's because why I, I said you would have sex if you were I working. certainly do. Are you crazy? I did it last night. I've done it for the last four nights in a row. And you thought you had given it up. Let's point that out to everyone. I, I told did. you you hadn't cured yourself. Really? Yep, well, I, I sure do. I love you. Hey, 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 I'm not against that. I enjoy it. All right, good. Puts good. me right to bed like a baby. <laughs> I got to go to bed at 8 o'clock at night. All right. The that. king, Elvis Presley. Oh, God, here we go again. <laughs> There's a new box set coming out. Oh, man, oh, man, give us moisty. Another box set. Yeah, Jeez. the five disc collection hits the stores on Tuesday. I saw this guy work. He yeah. gave away for one hour. He gave away about two hundred handkerchiefs <laughs> with a sweat. I swear to God, I couldn't. I was going, "Even you were hungry, and you were not." I'm going, "What is he doing?" He can't, I said, "Why do you open a haberdashery store?" <laughs> and they love and kiss and hug this guy. So Elvis uh, has got an album coming out, right? It you know spans the uh, early years. So uh, they say that anybody who the voted guy. for the. Uh, <laughs> the young Ian Elvis. Robbins. I know that, but you know there was a fat old Elvis and there was oh, a younger yeah, Elvis. Yeah. Well, what stamp did they finally get? The skinny they got Elvis? the skinny Elvis, yeah. right? So this mm. is the skinny record collection yeah. too. But the Teresa can't get on a block, and this guy gets on a <laughs> this guy gets on an envelope. Like and finally tonight on uh, <laughs> channel thirty one, thirty one NYC, mm -hmm. <laughs> worst channel on the planet. Tonight at nine is the premiere of In the Life. The new gay variety show. All right, I'm for that. Gay variety? Yes. The Lavender Light Gospel Choir wow. will be on in the life. Oh, that's something. There's nothing wrong with that. No, I don't think. I hey, I'm definitely will be watching this to see what they're up to. Okay. Me too. Good night. Good night, everybody. So that's what's happening. Thanks, Robin. Well, okay. Tomorrow's Let me... your last day. You go on vacation for two weeks? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish. Why, Why did we make... tell you that to keep you away? No, somebody, somebody <laughs> took away, you son of a gun. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we go on vacation for two weeks. Hey, Robin, I keep away automatically. <laughs> nah, the great Pat Cooper. Everybody loves him. <laughs> Who this? Cash app, dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Uh huh? Venmo, at milk, crate, marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard.